have you first just start out by introducing yourself, who you're fighting, and what weight class you're fighting. Okay. Uh, to look at the camera. Okay. I'm Eli Barzilai. I'm f I'm 22 years old. A professional MMA fighter for LFA. 2 and 0 is professional. I'm gonna fight Tyler Jones uh, tomorrow, and uh, I'm coming from Israel. What is saying about him? I saw some videos of him uh, fighting. I think uh, I think he's okay. I think he's he's uh, he's, he's a good fighter, but I just don't think he's in my level. I think our level is very far. Uh, I think he takes me very serious uh, as he should, and uh, that's that's okay because I'm very confident in my preparation and in my work. Uh, I can see, I can see a quick finish. I can see also myself dominating him for 15 minutes. I think it's gonna go or early finish or 15 minutes of domination. Yeah, I speak Portuguese, English, and Hebrew. Yeah, uh, in my in in Israel, in my country, usually most of the people. Speak at least three languages. Yeah, you know. uh, you can pick. Yeah, usually you can learn or or Spanish or French or Arabi or Arabic. But just uh, in my case, my mother she's from Brazil and my father is Israeli. So all my family is a big mix of Israel and Brazil. So I know to speak the both languages. And then I came here to the U.S. and I start learning uh, English. I didn't know English before I came here. Oh, wow. uh, 17 years old. I came here to train and fight. Yeah. And you're training at the time, right? Yes. He's uh, like big brother for me, big mentor, and uh, like to train for me with him from a young age. Also, we we used to train together in Israel. Since very young age, that's, uh, that's awesome, you know, I've been learning from him uh, during the years. He also started with the LFA, so we're doing similar journey, and uh, he, made, he made like that his way to the UFC. And uh, so, you know, it's awesome that it's, it's shown me the, the way to do it. My response will be tomorrow. Yeah. Is that what you're going to say on the mic? The Maybe. Do you have a name you'd like to call on in case yeah, there's somebody you'd like to call on? Uh, no, I, I don't think uh, I'm still in place to call someone out from the big, from, from the big stage. I think uh, my first goal should be uh, to get in there and to show why I deserve to be in there. And I believe all of you guys tomorrow will see why uh, I'm supposed to be in there. Yeah, I have a message to all my country that's supporting me. Tomorrow there's gonna be a lot, a lot of uh, Israelis in the arena. They're gonna come to support me. There's a lot of people that gonna watch. There's so many people that follow me and it means so, so much for them that fight. So you know, that's a big deal. With that come pressure. But I'm good, with, I'm good with that because I think I have the Israeli fighting spirit and uh, that's what I'm going to represent tomorrow because uh, I'm telling you, I mean, you guys need, all, you, all of you guys need to, to wish for him to, to knock me out because if I'm not going to be asleep, you're going to have a long, long night or a quick night. Yes. Yeah, I think uh, that's a great mix, both of them. That's a, that's a big mix. So I used to do my last uh, training camps in Brazil. So of course, from a young age, I'm, tra I'm training also in Brazil, and I took the the Brazilian fighting spirit. I have this one, and I have the the Israeli fighting spirit. Both of them well known by the by the toughness of the the two nations. And when you mix it together, it's interesting, you know. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Can you talk to me about your friend and your teammate? What makes him so dangerous? Eli is a very dangerous fighter. 
first of all, because of his skills, you know, his physique, everything about him is strong, he's powerful, but mostly about his mind. He's unbreakable, he won't stop, he's relentless, and he's going to go all in like always until he gets the finish. I just have one question for you on hearing that. Does that give you extra motivation, extra pressure to live up to what he just said? Uh, yeah, that's, uh, of course, uh, that gave me some pressure, but some good pressure. Because uh, what he said to me, he also doing by himself. So I know I need to do it as well, you know, to be successful. So uh, that, that's a good pressure. That's a mentor that, uh, that I need. And, uh, and yeah, we like a, a, a team together. Unbreakable. Thank you.